Meantime, new here at 530, Goshen schools population is growing. Mm -hmm, yeah. So the schools will need to grow along with this. Yeah, there are now long-term plans to build an intermediate school, but WSBT 22's Ed Ernstis reports the district is taking a quicker approach to adding more space. In the last couple of years, student enrollment at Model Elementary has increased. It's due in part to the number of new families enrolling. I would also say that we're seeing a surge in our building in, in enrollment based on the direction of learning and teaching in our building. We're seeing some additional interest in students transferring into our building. Student enrollment at Goshen Middle School is also going up. Next year, it will have the largest numbers of students ever. Currently, we're at 450 at the middle school. In three years, it's going to be up to 1,637 if enrollment stays the same. So that's 187 kids. So we're already a little crowded for space. A new intermediate school in Goshen would take all fifth and sixth grade students and ease enrollment numbers at both buildings. That's still in the works. So for the short term, the district would like to put in two portable modular units at each school. There are a couple types of modules. You can have a single classroom modular, which fits about around 30 students. Um, and then you can have a double modular, which actually has two classrooms within one unit. Right now, the school system is taking a look at the type of modular unit that would prove to be the best fit for both schools, according to the sizes needed, and plan to have those in place before the beginning of the next school year. Our goal would be to have them ready for the first day of school on August 4th. And so hopefully we'll get them placed beginning to mid-July and then work with the schools to determine what classes can go out there. So having modulars at our building would give us additional space for teaching and learning, which we desperately need. Ed Ernstis, WSBT 22 News. Now the Goshen District is weighing their options, whether to buy new portable modular units or to buy used.